Hello, this is your course instructor Richel Tuvillio and welcome to our course video Android Tab Apps for Science Teachers and Backyard Astronomers This section is already the second part of the basics of identifying constellations As a review, constellations are internationally defined area of the celestial sphere but we will stick to the historical description of it as the patterns formed by a group of stars or shapes made by a star pattern. Last session we discussed how to identify the three constellations namely Ursa Major, Ursa Minor and Draco. This second session will discuss the next batch of neighboring constellations. Let's start with the first one. I want you to look carefully to this part of the night sky. Observe keenly if you can find some patterns. There are at least half a dozen constellations visible here. Take a look at this one. This is the second constellation I learned after Ursa Major during elementary years. Let's zoom a little bit. There. Since the constellation is lying down, we will turn it 90 degrees clockwise looks familiar it becomes easier a little bit because sometimes its actual position in the night sky is similar to the original picture it's a little challenging sometimes the bright one on the upper left is known as Betelgeuse a red giant star and another bright star in the lower right is Rigel a bluish white star the three stars that uh, almost form a straight line is its belt. We will draw lines to aid your imagination of a human figure. There. Our cancellation is... Orion. Orion the Hunter. Now, after Orion, what's next? We will discuss these five constellations surrounding Orion. We'll start from this one. Okay. We will zoom in first. Then rotate. For the hint, the pattern formed by this constellation is this V-shape. Its brightest star is Aldebaran. And this star cluster here known as Pleiades is part of it. So what's the name of our constellation? It's Taurus. Taurus the Bull. I think that's it for now. To wrap up, we discussed about Orion and Taurus. And uh, we will discuss the remaining four constellations when we return. Again, this is your course instructor, Rachel Tuvillio. Until next time.